Folks! <laughs> it's crazed over here. It's crazed in the EPW mansion. Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by the man in white. Uh, the one, the this doesn't roll off the tongue like he usually does. The man they call Derek. What up? We are here to review AEW Dynamite. <laughs> w. Derek gets mad when people say W's like that. I, I can't stand that. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit of Dynamite tonight. A big shout out to the homie Doug. Doug, who's usually in the chat, is at Dynamite. He is rocking the Derek Order shirt. Uh, he is much appreciated. I see him over there. He was on the side near the uh, entrances. So show Doug some love. And if anyone's listened to this that happens to be in the arena, give him a fist bump for me. Please. Uh, you are appreciated, Doug. Uh, we're going to talk a little AEW and let's get it. Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here. So listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson. Yes. So I'm gonna make up for last week where I uh, where I had some botches, <laughs> some some bad botches, and I'm going to make sure I send this out on Twitter's right now. I always forget to do that right away sometimes. So there you go. If you're live on Twitter, give this a old retweet. Matt Lopez, I see you out here in these streets, bro. Much appreciated. Um, I know the homie Rob is handling things here locally, but we're going to take care of some business tonight. Let's give some shout outs to the fine folks of the EPW chat. And I thank you all every single week for joining us. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I know it's a longer stream. People are like, why are you podcasting on YouTube? Because I like it. It's fun. That's what we do here. Um, Derek's been ducking me for that match, y'all. No, I'm, I'm ready you. for you, bro. Oh, you're ready. i have been ready. When you, when are you going to be here on time? So if you're not here on time, it's a forfeit, right? Hell no, nah, bro. See, see, he doesn't want he doesn't want to go to these requirements. When are you ready to get this in? When are you ready to get this work, bro? You tell me, bro. I'm, I'm good. I, I need some practice real quick. I'm gonna make sure I, I need to make sure this is a flawless <laughs> dub as Flaw- best I can. Flawless. Eric Douglas, I'll be honest, I was a little mad when they said Storm had a bye, but not Sheeta. He is talking about the women's tournament on Twitter. Explain why Sheeta couldn't still have a bye. Still don't understand why Tony does, though. P.S. We all know Soraya is winning Friday. Wow, you don't know that. You don't know that. Never assume. Never assume. But I, I think the matchup is going, well, we'll get into it later. I'll tell you who I think are going to be the final four. BJ. What's good? He says, I don't know, y'all. Something about this episode just off to me. Every peak also felt like there was a valley. I still love AEW, but man, the build to their biggest show and two pay-per-views have been sort of mid. Wow. Wow. Matt Lopez says, good evening. What up, Matt? Sir Quills, what up, Conrad Derek? It's time for another dope AEW Dynamite review. Let's see what the fuss is about tonight. Uh... Matt Lopez says, I don't trust strong Kingdom Cole situation after how Roderick acted. Now something doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. Roddy, acting, Roddy acting real sus out in these streets. <laughs> Got to watch him. Original Biggie says, good evening, Conrad and Derek. Good evening, Chad. Good evening. Obi-Wan. What up, Original Biggie? Biggie, I was watching some of your uh, Saints Row videos today on uh, the YouTube shorts. Good stuff. Jocelyn. Also on Twitch says, yo, what's yo. good, Jocelyn? What is good? Uh, I'm not at the arena. I watched it in my house. You got to go live, Eric. Come on. You got to be there live. Uh, not liking the matches uh, for All In. So if you guys don't like All In, tell me if you don't like the build or if you think you could build a better match card. And if you do your match card, I'm going to put this one restraint on you. We cannot have any match where it's CM Punk. Involved with the elite. Let me know what you would book as a card. That's that's the homework for the end of this. All right. That goes for anybody. And if if Jesus and all them run up in here, they got the same homework. All in card. I want to know some of your matches that you would book for it. All right. Uh let's see. What up, Conrad, Derek, and chat. What up, Ace? 
Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. What up, Conrad? My guy, Derek. We outside. Inside with another review of Dynamite from the Best. Appreciate that. Clash of the Podcast is live every single Monday, live at 6.05 Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to be there. We actually had a really good podcast on Sean's channel, Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. You guys can uh, click his name and subscribe to it if you like. And, uh, yeah, I was on an episode recently, and we talked about, is the Bloodline storyline the greatest storyline of all time? I don't think we really had a conclusive answer, but it's going to be interesting to see how people feel in a month. Yeah. I'll say that. It is. My guy, uh, Hubs. Oh, wait. He said, respect to Cole and MJF not feeling it. I know a lot of people do. It is what it is, but all in build is mid. Listen, they're getting more than one segment for a reason. I keep telling people. People like this team. I didn't think it was going to get as big as it did. I, I thought it was going to end a lot sooner. Matt Lopez says he's liking the card for all in. Derek, thoughts on the all in card? Are you like, nah, is this mid to you? Yeah, I've seen them. Like I've it. seen AEW do worse, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I like it. it. Is it by far its best? Probably not. But I like the card. But like, like you said, there, there have been cards that have been like, ooh. Yeah, sometimes, and you don't know. And so actually, some of those have turned out pretty good. Remember, Revolution looked horrible yes. to everybody, yes. and everyone was like, that was almost a perfect pay-per-view after. Yeah. I remember that. So it depends on your thoughts and how you feel about it. No, because you said uh, Douglas was at the read. I thought you were talking about me. No, no, no. Doug, Doug Vance, the homie Doug, who's usually in the chat. He is rocking tonight. McKinney says, yo, I'm here to talk AEW with the EPW crew. I want. I would yell, but. My voice is down for the count. Let's go. We'll do we'll do a little Ooh. megaphone. Ace says he likes the card so far. So those who don't like it, please, I really do want to like what would you book for all in? You tell me. What what is the what is the hype? I'm interested to know what you guys think about it. We're gonna get more so into this. Just remember certain things are off the table. I don't know why they wouldn't do this. I don't know why. Sean, thank you for manning the boards for us. <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't do it, you know? Oh, th there you go. That's the picture I wanted up. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Sean. So they can pick the matches that they want to do. <laughs> they know what they should have did, but I don't know. Maybe we're waiting to see what happens with that. I don't I don't get what the plan is here. But, you know, and they're also, they got to build to all out. They're doing a lot in a short amount of time is what I think the issue is. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're going to go to a bigger pay-per-view schedule, spread that mess out, man. Yeah, you definitely need to spread it out. Um, a lot of people are probably getting overwhelmed with it. Um, don't know what to look for. Space it out. Space it out. Yeah, much respect. Um, I, yeah, dude. I don't know. They got to just find a way to to make it work with what they got. Right. Sadly, like that's one of the weirdest things with all of this. Like you have to figure out what's going to be the best option for you and what you're trying to do here but listen we're here to talk some dynamite so let's get into it ding 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 opening contest was not a match it was the jericho appreciation society mandatory meeting i felt like i was back in school with this one. Oh, Derek, where are they going with this for you honestly i, I don't know bro i i feel like I feel like this is redemption time. Chat, are you feeling the Jericho storyline like 100%? I know I'm asking for all-in cards. I'm asking for a lot. I, like I said, you got till the end. I'm going to ask that at the end for the all-in cards. But tell me what you guys think of uh, like some of the other things that's going down. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think like this is this is uh, where we're going to separate for just a short amount of time. I feel like Jericho is going to be like, ah, you know what? Let's get the band back together. Mm. That that that's how I feel. So you think Jericho's going back with this crew and yeah, they become baby faces. Sammy too, yeah. Garcia too. More so, more those so two. Garcia. Those two are ready to go, though. I feel yeah. like yeah, more more so, more so. Sammy will probably come back sooner than Garcia. Garcia probably ah, Garcia may not come back. Garcia may be on his way out. Garcia might be done. Sammy. He might he might be done to a certain extent if he is done. I feel like that that uh what was the reality show they had? I forgot what it was called. Oh, uh the, 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 the. AEW something. 
I don't know. The reality show they had with like Sammy, you're going to Google it? Yeah. All right. Much appreciated. Shout out to Derek and Google for helping out on the pod all the time. <laughs> but that, that reality show should be like the launching point for them. You know what I mean? Like, I just felt like when that reality show set up Sammy in a better light than he had been seen in a while. And now I feel like he's ready to go on his own because when him and Ty first got together, it felt off and he just needed like he needed to get back on track. It definitely did feel off. It it, it didn't seem right. Yeah. I don't know what it was about the whole ordeal, but everybody walks out on Jericho in this segment is basically what happened. Um, well, okay. Wait a minute. Who, who was it? Uh, Cause at that time it wasn't what was it? No, was it Jay? All Access. Thank you, Matt Lopez. No, Derek's no, too not, slow. Not All Access. Derek's too slow. No, that's the show I was talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about the um, the Co- show that they had. Who? Who? Sammy and Ty? No, no, no. Um, Cody? No, Jericho and... Um, who? Not the JAS, but what, what were they called um, before? Inner that? Circle? Yeah, Inner Circle. That was a different group, technically. I know, but I thought you were talking about that. that oh, really get this guy out of here, bro. <laughs> you and Google... Listen, listen, you. I was thinking of that, not not uh, all access. Matt Lopez says, "Congratulations to Rhea and Buddy on the engagement jokes. He got tired of them dirty Dom jokes. Must have, brother. Oh, he, oh they got engaged. Yeah, Rhea and uh, Buddy Matthews did. Nice. Congrats to them. Eric says, "My card would be FTR versus the Bucks versus the Guns. What guns?" Oh, oh, the uh, tag team. The gun. I don't know why my mind went to the Motor City Machine Guns because that match would be fire. Uh, Chris Statlander versus Sky Blue. Britt Baker versus Soraya versus. Oh, this is a multi person. Statlander versus Sky Blue. Britt versus Soraya versus Sheeta versus Storm. CMFTR versus the Elite. You can't book that. <laughs> that was a one caveat I gave. <laughs> uh, Cole, MJF, and House of Black. Uh, versus the Kingdom and Roddy and Sammy versus Jericho. Ooh, I don't know. Ah, oh, the JAS holes broke up. I can't say that stuff, guys. What are you doing to me? Chris Jericho burn up. Join Don Callis and point point blank period. Yeah, I feel like this is a setup. It is. It's a setup for something. It is. Uh, I just don't know where the Jericho Callis story is going. I think Callis may have some swerve, and I think Garcia might join the family. Ooh, okay. interesting. Like interesting. He is from Canada, Garcia. 716, stand up. Maybe, maybe. Uh, new turn on the way. A group dissolves, but oh well. <laughs> All access. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that. Yes, that was the show I was referring to where I thought Sammy actually did a great job of uh, getting over. Now, Jericho then runs into Don. He says that I'll have your answer for you next week. Next, I week. think next week we're going to get the whole shebang. What is the match? What is the plan with all of this? And then yes. we'll know how they're going to move forward. You got to let it settle a little bit. Let it, let it simmer. Then we had the Hardys versus the Hardys. I mean, the Hardys versus the Young Bucks. <laughs> you could just tell that these guys are similar to them, that they're big fans of uh, what they do. Big time. Nothing wrong with that either. So, this was a match. I've seen these guys wrestle a bunch of times since, like, WrestleMania weekends on Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. Uh, This was a dream match at one point. Listen, both tag teams are older now. I don't care about none of that. Um, This is what it's going to be. They they wrestled the match. I thought it was pretty solid. It was the best I thought the Hardys looked so far since... Since the return. Uh, but we all knew, though, right? Like, going into this, the Bucks had to win this. They're the next ones up for the tag titles. Yeah, it, it was inevitable. They had to win. And I don't know where we're going to get that redemption for the uh, the Hardy storyline. Maybe we'll get there eventually. I don't think we will. Yeah, I don't know. They, they had their one chance. I think they kind of blew the opportunity to get it. When, yeah. like, I think that was when Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus got it. That could have been them, but... Yeah, decisions were made, and yeah, that prices were paid. That's the best thing yeah. I can say. Like, it, pretty much it. because I, I don't think they have a shot at getting it. It's all right. Um, and like I said, do they need the tag title run? Not really. No, they're, that, they're cemented as tag team legends. Yeah, their 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 track record is. It's there. 
yeah, Jeff Hardy did another like fallbacks that he wouldn't hit the whisper in the wind. They super kicked his legs out from under him. That led to Matt Hardy getting backslide, but they had his arms at that point. Wrist control. Shout out to the G1. Go Kingston, go. Uh, they hit him with the BTE trigger. Down goes Matt. One, two, three. Cutler gets in. He's spraying everybody, annoying everybody. And then they get up, they grab the microphone for FTR, and then you just hear the And then the Young Bucks get on the mic and they say, Well, no, they said, All in. And I guess that's the match. No promos, no jokes, none of it needed. I am really interested from. So, Kayfabe Conrad is in love with what they're doing here. Like, okay. Okay, this is the rubber match. Who's the best tag team? I can't wait for this. Right. But cynical wrestling fan Conrad is also looking at this like, this is going to be the power of jockeying for position for who wins this. I don't know. We thought, listen, we were at the Rochester show where we thought the Bucks, when they won their second tag title reign, we thought they teased the match with FTR. We ended up getting none of that. Nope. None. Diddly squat. Doo-doo. Doo-doo balls and peanuts. <laughs> we got nothing. Nothing. Toilet water. Yeah. So we didn't get it. I hope that this time it delivers. This is going to be a crazy match. I'm curious to know, did the Bucks ask to win in their contracts? I'm sure maybe. they did. May, but maybe not. I'm sure they did. Now, nah, maybe Tony's like, no, no, no. You ain't getting that. I'm, I know how much I'm paying you. <laughs> I, know, I know what we're doing here. You want this or you want that? I'm lowering the money, though, if you get this. All right, all right. So we, I don't know how it went. FTR, they've got CM Punk. They're bringing up ratings on Collision a little bit. They had a bad week this week because of SummerSlam. But they, they've got some power with that too, maybe. Maybe they got some something happening. So I'm interested yeah. to see how it goes. And I hope, like, the Punk doesn't get in and then the Elite get in. This could get real bad too. I'm just oh, saying. It could, it could definitely go south in a heartbeat. And I don't think, I don't think you want it. We don't want it. <laughs> well, I mean, I want it. But. Sir Quills says, Hardy's and Young Bucks is a very good match. Uh, good back and forth at the end. The Bucks winning is the right call. Have their momentum heading into All In. Matt Lopez, he's got in the uh, the quack quack for the Ducks. Uh, yo, I swear if I knew we wouldn't get a cease and desist, I would make a shirt with them like Ducks and have them doing that. But you know, I'll get hit with that bad boy real quick. <laughs> AW already got me for one design. I was like, it's similar. Come on. Right, right. They knew they were, they were like, he ain't going to fight this. He don't want to take this to court. So I just let it go. Right. But BJ says, well, he knows. McKinney, if this match could have happened when they had the return at WrestleMania, this would have been much better. But the Hardys look better than I uh, could have imagined. Yeah. And I was there. I think they wrestled the Hardys the night before uh, that, but they returned. Because I was at that WrestleMania when they returned. If you ever go on my TikTok, uh, they, I think they lowered like the, the volume because of the music and stuff. But you could definitely hear me screaming like, the Hardys! Like, it was a crazy return. Like probably top 10 returns when they came back oh, to yeah, WWE. Absolutely. Uh, CM Punk better accept Samoa Joe's challenge at all in this Saturday night on Collision. We need that match, bro. Imagine they went from wrestling in like, oh, Ring of Honor's in this little arena to 80,000 people, baby. Right. So good for them. Good for them. And sick. Right now named Rafael De La Ghetto. (laughs) Says, keep Paul White off my television. (laughs) Just in time, my friend. One time for the one time. Well, never know. You never know. Derek on the inside. God damn it. Exactly how I feel. Exactly. Um, after that, we find out that there's going to be a women's championship tournament. This is what we were talking about with Eric earlier. Women's championship tournament. Things are getting uh shysty. Things are going down. And yeah, that's what that's what they're doing with this. Um, they have tournament brackets for it. Listen, I'm I'm gonna tell you guys. It seems pretty obvious who should win each one. Yes, 
It the, does. The match is in front of you. That's one of the things I've been telling people lately. Like the match is there in front of you. Right. You can't miss it. It's it's bold, plain letters. <laughs> it's it's right there. <laughs> right there, like Ching, eh? Uh <laughs> smack dab. MJF and Adam Cole, we got to uh, hear okay. from them. <laughs> and this resulted in them going to a trampoline park. Hilariousness ensues. MJF is hitting kids with uh, the, the soft dodgeball, knocking them out. A little kid gives uh, Adam Cole the middle <laughs> finger. And yeah, it goes down. Uh, then me and Derek and uh, B started sharing stories downstairs about dodgeball in gym class right and how we would love to just like tear people up so I'll, I'll keep it a rip with you guys so me and Derek definitely used to play sports and you know when you went into gym class there were the people who didn't play sports <laughs> and nothing used to make me more upset than someone who didn't want to participate in gym like I'm trying to play basketball and there's this one person who just don't want to play they're letting me do layups and stuff and I'm like dog I'm here for the comp <laughs> what are you doing right now <laughs> So I was like, yeah, they would be the first ones that have to get lit up in dodgeball. Like, yeah, move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it wasn't for most for like in dodgeball. It, it wasn't it wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't good for the people who didn't play sports. Not even pickleball, badminton, all that. I'm like, bro, get out of here. You know what the you know what the gym teachers used to do to me? They would put that person on my team. <laughs> and it would make me run twice as hard because I'm like, you got to try. You got to try. Actually, my wife, that's how uh, she was on the opposite team one time. We were in, like, the toilet bowl for, like, gym class for uh, Batman. Because the other person wouldn't move. I was like, bro, they keep hitting it to you. I got to, like, move you. Like, you're killing me. You're killing me. So that's what we ended up uh, doing, dude. I swear I was crying. Dude, it, it, I was crying at this segment. Funny. I, I, I love I love all my non-sports players, but you guys definitely killed us. <laughs> Bro, and the best part, I really wanted Adam Cole to pull the Shawn Michaels when he went back with Triple H to like super kick the kid with the salad. I wanted him to do that at the trampoline park. And then the guy's like, All right, you two, you're out of here. And they get kicked out. That's what I would have done instead. Dude, that would have been gold. But you know, someone would have been like, There was violence with children, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, throwing up, you know, someone would have did that trying to show Warner Brothers or something stupid. Right. You have violence with children with ads on your show? Cut it out. Bro, I wouldn't even be surprised if they hit MJF with one too because of what he said to the one game. <laughs> oh, yeah. MJF, just terrible. Just terrible. Go back and watch that segment if you didn't. Oh, man. Uh, Six said, I swear if they cast Paul White as the thing, I'm going to flip. My shizzy. Um, Dare I showed Derek what you had sent me, bro. I had to forward that to him. That reply was hilarious. <laughs> Finally, my opportunity has come. Uh, play that soundboard of Derek if Paul White gets a match. MJF said, F those kids. Terrible. See, it's not fair because Ricky Starks is on Saturday, so keep Paul White on Friday. <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> Has the bunny ever been in a pay per view match? Has she? I, I would assume she's been in like the casino battle royales or a four way or something at some point in time. She's had to have been in, in a pay per view match. I, I, I can't see her not being. She in. had to have been in a battle royal or something. I'm not sure though, Eric. We'd have to check the record books for that. And I don't know it offhand here. Let's see how long it takes this guy to find it. Been messing around this whole time. Let's get into the next match. This card, this was not a very big card tonight, for the record. Like, real quick. This is the card. It's only like four matches. Uh, for the FTW Championship, which Jack Perry should not be holding. I don't know why. Yeah, ja did. Jack Perry needs new music. I'm going to keep saying this every week till they change it because it's not good. Um, Jack Perry versus Rob Van Dam. RVD coming out to walk was so dope, bro. Oh yeah, bro. It just I I could just feel the old Burt Flickinger Center downtown Buffalo, across from the community college. With the with the freaking moving letters, extreme. Bam bam Bigelow. <laughs> right. 
Oh. RVD and Bam Bam. That, I, I think Rob Van Dam won the TV title in Buffalo, if I'm not mistaken. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he did. Now, that was back when we couldn't afford to go to shows. Yo, wrestling was hot back then. Like I don't think people know you could not get tickets to wrestling like that. It oh, was God. not easy. Uh-huh. Like Your parents used to have to either stand in line or they had to know someone with the hookup. And I didn't know anybody with the hookup. So sometimes I would be like, did you stand in line for me, Dad? And he'd be like, yeah, too long. <laughs> it wasn't happening. wasn't happening. So we wouldn't get tickets and stuff. But sometimes then someone's dad would come through and be like, yo, I got tickets. You try, you guys trying to go? So that stuff would happen. Like I said, I think I went to Fall Brawl 2000. I never went back. I never watched shows that I've been to. I swear to you. Like, I've never watched that. Never watched WrestleMania 33. Never watched WrestleMania 29. Except the yeah, I mean, battleground, <laughs> they had one good match. Yeah, I had the, that's that's the, only the, match the Rhodes versus the Shield. That was it. That's, Every, only, that's the only match I watched from. That's yeah, everything else. I'm everything like, else I'm, I'm good. Care. I'm, I'm care. good. That that one, bro. Oh my god, that that one that was that had me emotional. I'm like, who yo, McKinney said HBK super kicking that little girl off screen and seeing that salad fly was comedy gold. It was a top 10 HBK moment for sure. Oh, absolutely. Matt says the music is trash. Did you ever find it? So wait, did the bunny have the? I couldn't find anything. Right, I'm sure she was in a in a like a battle royale. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Uh, like I said, she had to be in a battle royale. Someone look it up because Derek's gonna take forever. Derek getting old out here. Look at him. <laughs> he he just started looking up something else. No, how to no. how to do my accounting from home? <laughs> Listen, Jungle Boy came out dressed as Jerry Lynn for this. Uh, they turned it into like an ECW style match. It didn't get too crazy. They used tables and chairs, right? Um, Jack Perry eventually got uh, throws a chair and hits the referee. Geez Louise! Uh, Five star frog splash from RVD. No ref there to count. Aubrey finally makes it out, but it's only a two count. Jack Perry is able to kick out. He hits a low blow on RVD, dastardly Jack Perry, throws him into a chair that was wedged into the corner, rolls him up. RVD cannot kick out. Jack Perry gets the win. Um, I thought this was the best match I've seen Rob Van Dam have since the Impact days. This is probably match Actually, match. he had a really good match with Dante Martin, too, on the Indies. If you guys haven't seen that, I would recommend checking that out. Really Absolutely. good. Uh, he can still go, man, for his unique style. Absolutely. Bro, I'm, uh, I'm not seeing anything. For her, right? Heavy promo and angle setup episode of AEW. RVD didn't look bad, but he's moving a little slow at times. That's gonna happen, bro. With people, oh, eventually, so. eventually, you're you're he beat his body up for, bro. Think about go back and watch his ninety nine stuff. Think about what he was doing, man. That brother was crazy, bro. EC ECW is what? Like, okay, so say say you you have you have uh you have a uh um we'll say carbon dating. Life <laughs> lifetime, right? The carbon dating is what we'll say 15 years in wrestling, right? Just just for shits and giggles. His his carbon dating lifestyle was like they call it a bump card, bro. They yeah. say sometimes when you do like crazy spots like Jeff Hardy and Edge yeah. that spear, they said you punched a hole in your bump card, kid. That's that's a big one. That's gonna hurt you later. You're gonna yeah. be feeling it. Like where you where you would have 15 years, RVD had like five. Yeah, but McKinney's not lying either. It's not like he isn't slow. It's, no, 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 no. He's he, not wrong. But no, he's not wrong at all. It's just I feel for the brother though. Yeah, he. he but he, but he, you know what? He can still do some of the stuff that he was able to. Do. Yeah, yo. Let me ask you this: How many fifty-year-olds do we know that could do that? Dude, I know. I'm listen. I'm in my thirties, bro. I ain't trying to move like that, man. I got a shoulder injury right now, and I'm like, yo, no, bro. I just... <laughs> Oh, plantar fasciitis. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Perry at RVD was a decent match. RVD is a 52-year-old that can still go like he was in his 20s. Yet another ref bump. This time, a chair shot effed up the match, enabling Perry to win in suspect fashion. Quill's on point with the summary. MJF and Adam Cole, we go back to them once again. They're back out here. Why? Top drawing segment. Yes. Watch. Watch those little charts. I listen, and I tell you guys every week. I don't really give a damn about those ratings. I truly don't. No. Like I don't. I'll tell you what's the more entertaining show to me. And when you watch it, you watch it. You know it. You feel it. I don't care about those ratings. 
none of that matters. Like I said, you know how many people are watching on illegal streams and everything else? I don't think you guys know. There's a lot. And they're all in chats talking to each other about it and everything. Oh, absolutely. I know people not. who are commenting to me, and they're watching on a different stream. So whatever. So MJF and Adam Cole come out. They're talking about their big title match, but Adam Cole says, why don't we wrestle twice on this show at All In? Nope. MJ, MJF's like, what? Oof. MJF was the first match on the first All In. He is now in the main event. It goes to show you what that show meant. And as much crap as I'll talk about Cody, Kenny, the Bucks, all that stuff, All In is a truly special show. That it is. Now, those some of the things they did on there I didn't like, but I think overall it was a truly special show. And is the launching point for this for what we have today? Show that people want more wrestling from uh different places. So absolutely we've got it now. So remember that. Be grateful we've got it. I am. Let's get into this. He they challenged, they said for zero hour, let's challenge Aussie Open for the ROH tag titles. These boys are bugging okay. right now because MJF don't wrestle twice in one night. But right. for 80,000, I'm sure if it's if it's good pay, let's do it, baby. Right. He's out there. He's getting it in. Um, number one, do MJF and Cole walk away with the tag titles? Yes. Really? Yeah. You think that key? Nah. No. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel weird. But then they're going to have to have a match later. So how do you keep them unified? Because then do you want the they're still friends in the match, or do you want it to be that they hate each other because of the match previously? There's options here. There's options. Someone said Jack Perry's theme is dumpster juice. Dang. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying he moves and bursts and slow, but he still got it. I respect him, McKinney. Uh, he said, shit, I'm in my 30s and I can barely touch my toes without much back pain or passing gas. Respect <laughs> to RVD. <laughs> in 2023, Adam Cole and MJF are challenging for the world ROH tag titles. Not my 2023 wrestling bingo card, Matt Lopez says. I didn't have that either, bro. MJF and Adam Cole is not, I repeat, is not going to be Aussie Open for the ROH Tag Championships. Not a chance. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to pull here for this card. Okay, so she had a Battle Royal match at All Out in 2021. See? I couldn't find it. Yeah, that was one of their bigger shows, too. I say the Kingdom gets added into the ROH Tag Title match some way. They could do that. Yeah. Could do that. Could get a little sneaky up in here. Um, afterwards, they announced that Roderick Strong comes out. He's in his neck brace. Roderick Strong coming out real jealous, eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut <laughs> blart and jelly. <laughs> peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. I got to chill. The intern might come in here. Oh, there's, yeah. there's definitely a video of us saying, uh, Oh no, that was oh no, he, yeah, he's been singing the peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know what kind of songs we were gonna get into tonight. First, you take the peanuts and you spread them, you spread them. I'm done. <laughs> and then he'll be like, What do you like better? <laughs> oh, I like peanut butter, I like jelly. I was like, All right, all right, grape or strawberry jelly. And don't come in here with none of that that marmalade. I don't want to hear about no bougie apple butter. <laughs> I know Sean will come here talking about something. Bro, I just bought some apple butter. <laughs> Sean spending $50 on some apple butter. He got the bread. Let me know, man. Are you a strawberry or grape jelly person? That's it. Those are the two choices. Don't come here with no marmalade. I don't want to hear about that. Sound nasty. Uh, don't don't do no organic. Sound like some stuff. Moulin Rouge. Right. <laughs> what is this? Don't, don't do no garlic or uh, organic stuff either. <laughs> <laughs> the heck you talking about? <laughs> organic peanut butter or something? Nah, organic jelly, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, peanut butter too. <laughs> Yo, remember that dude we used to play basketball with? <laughs> uh, sorry, that has to be saved for another time. Yeah. Yeah, we got mentions of Taylor Swift and Shake It Off. The Swifties were loving it. They were out here. Yo, Taylor Swift's super popular, bro. I did not. Did you know that when she does a concert in a city that it generates, like, high revenue? I heard she was. I, I heard it's big money. Like, Yeah, but I heard she was, like, stuck up. Never. I don't know that. I've never met Well, the only reason why I, I, I say that because I have. I, 
I had a friend that I used to work with and he said he had a buddy that would actually like work, work concerts and stuff like that. And he'd do like the boards and stuff. And he said like, she, she's just like super, super stuck up. Um, like, oh, Quill says he thinks that the kingdom and Roderick Strong could end up costing them. So mm -hmm. after all these jokes, MJ have like buried Roderick Strong on the microphone, basically. He didn't call him a default call this time, but he, he just buried this dude on the mic. And uh, they, they, the king to come out and console him because they were like, we were friends with Adam Cole too, and he forgot about us. Something, I, something smells fishy with all this. I don't know what, but I don't trust anybody. I don't trust none of them. Roger Strong will cost him, cost them the titles, right, dude? Blackberry jelly is where it's at. I've never done it, so I can't say nothing. Yeah. But I don't know. Apple jelly. You, you <laughs> Apple know, jelly. It's tough, though, bro. What? You a Nutella guy or something? <laughs> Hell no. That That's garbage. To tell us. That's what they always use for them pranks. They'd be like, pass the bathroom tissue? Yeah, no, nah, that's garbage. Thanks. Dude! <laughs> dude! <laughs> See the recent one, dude? Like, he's a kid. He's like, he's yeah. like, <laughs> yo, why, yo, McKinney said peanut butter and jelly. That's what I like in my belly. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. Apple jam with peanut butter and honey spray. Come on, brother. That's <laughs> fancy. You got three things. Fine cut triangular shaping. <laughs> Save this with my pinky out, by the way. <laughs> You'll get bougie bond out of here. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift was the babysitter for Jeff Jarrett's kids. Oh, yeah, that was. I did see that. Did I send you that? Yeah. They, they found like some old picture of Taylor Swift babysitting Jeff Jarrett's kids. It's my world. I wish we had a little thing that we could play for that. Terrible. Strawberry jelly put some respect on it. Bro, you know, you know what's tough though? <laughs> doing doing peanut butter and or no, doing uh toast with butter and jelly. That's tough. That's what the intern eats every day. Yo, that's that's tough, bro. That hits the spot. On cinnamon bread. Gotta be cinnamon yeah, bread. I'm like, bro, tough, bro. Bro, that's a sugar high. It is, but that's tough. <laughs> you you can't deny that one. That was like, oh. McKinney said Concord grape jelly. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nothing wrong with a little Concord grape. I just don't get the whole Taylor Swift thing. Grape jelly is good, good too. But again, it ain't that damn apple. It ain't that apple jelly, damn it. Grape jelly to hell with all that fancy shit. <laughs> BJ, the blackberry jelly is hitting that Bob Evans. <laughs> uh, what? Taylor Swift babysat Jeff Jarrett's kids? Yo, if I remember, I'll try to pull that up next week. I'll see if I can find it and we'll pull it up. But yeah, that was the, uh, that's the word around the schoolyard is that uh, she used to babysit. There's a picture of it. Allegedly, it's Taylor Swift. I wasn't looking too hard. I don't know. I'm not the biggest Taylor Swift fan. I wouldn't be surprised. I believe it. Now, we get into collision highlights. They talk about Billy Gunn retiring. They go through Ricky Starks whipping Ricky Steamboat with the belt. How dare you after they got the WCW theme? -da -da. <laughs> That's my favorite Ricky Steamboat theme, bro. WCW, yeah. give me give me that Ricky the Dragon versus Ric Flair. Yo, my guy. Love Ricky Steamboat, man. Uh, Ricky Starks was whipping him like a dog. Even Punk tried to get him. He's like, get him, sit down. And he just started putting a beat down. So I wonder where things are going to go with Ricky Starks. Punk sounds like he wants revenge, though, for him doing that. Because this, that's one of Punk's mentors. Yeah, I mean, you, you could definitely do that. Um, yeah, I would. I, this, this feud between those two is really going to be like spectacular. Uh, Punk's in multiple feuds, though. Ah, which one? Joe, gonna, this. Which one's going to cost him the, the biggest prize? What, his belt? Hit his belt. Right. <laughs> the real world championship, as they're calling it. Um, I don't know. I can't wait. And they were talking about collision this week. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I, I really did not think that was in, like, my top, like, Elton John song, but I'm growing to like that one a little bit. I think it's just because of the show, though. But House of Blacks defending the Trio Championship against CMFTR. They got their belts. They got their belts. It's gonna be a gonna be a collision on Saturday, right? Some may say. So I can tell you right now, someone's catching the meanest 
devil's necktie. Knock it off. Nobody's catching that. Listen, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't think Punk and them are winning, truthfully. No, but no, I can see it. They might. They might flip it. On, I don't bro. know. Don't, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. <laughs> Someone said the phony championship. Steamboat versus Ricky Starks. I'm calling it for all out. You are bugging, bro. Ricky Steamboat ain't getting in that ring. He ain't wrestling no more. I think he was done after that uh, messed up 450 he had caught. I think Ricky Ricky Steamboat is done with that. House of Black ain't losing this Saturday. They gonna give Punk a new belt or? Uh, I don't think so. I I think Punk and MJF finish what they were starting before. They have to. Yeah. That I think Punk's gonna challenge. So I think all. Spoiler alert. Ooh. All in's gonna end right now in my mind. It could change when I do the predictions. But MJF is walking out the champ. Punk's gonna come out. We're gonna get the double hold up the belt thing. Summer of punk style. And he's gonna be like, yo, give me that shot. Give me that shot. They go to Chicago and then we wait to see what happens from there. So, chance that someone's catching that necktie. <laughs> and I told you. Come on. Not Brody, bro. Not Brody. Choking people out. Um, should be good, man. I'm looking forward to Collision. Collision's probably my favorite wrestling show of the week. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. And it's not because of just who's over there. I like the feeling of the show better. It's like slowed down. I don't feel as rushed. And it's like two-man commentary team. It, it just feels better a little bit. I don't know what it is. Sometimes that's all you need. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. Right. Here's MJF. What what a change, man. Dude, they're putting out the old graphics for All In. I like it. it, it it's very clean, very fresh. Can't go wrong with it. Simple. Simple is best. Also, don't forget, on the 23rd, Collision and Dynamite are going to be taping the same night. I want you just to take a look and imagine some of these people in the same locker room that night. Mm-hmm. Going to get interesting. All right. I hope all peace is kept, but it's going to get interesting. I hope all hell breaks loose. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. What kind of person are you? Let's get to the House of Black, or excuse me, I said the House of Black, the BCC versus the Lucha Bros in a tag team match. Pardon me. Got different things happening here. So Moxley and Claudio versus the Lucha Bros. First off, this little menace, Wheeler Yuta, striking Phoenix in the head with the ROH championship. <laughs> Someone stop this man. This this menace. Unbelievable that he would do something like that. Uh, we got some good striking battles back and forth. Super kicks, punches. Yeah. This match had cutters galore. Ew. Moxley hitting cutters. Phoenix hitting cutters. You got swing blades. You got a bunch of stuff that are happening in here. I don't. I just don't get it. Pile drivers. But yeah, pile driver just dude dump it on the heads, chops to the chest. Oh, super kicks. We were learning about who was a masticus and who was. I'm like, bro, how do you like getting chopped like this all the time? There's right. no way, bro. It no was just way. wild. Uh the match is going to end up ending though. They rip off Penta's mask. This is overused a lot, right? Like I felt it for yeah. the first time. I was like, please stop doing this finish with ripping off the mask. Yeah, th- this this one, this one was th- th- this. Oh my god. I don't know how to say it. But stop doing it. Let, let's let's stop doing that to to pull out the win. Just win. If you're gonna win, just win. If you pull if you pull the uh, the pants to get the 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 leverage, pull the pants to get the leverage. Stop taking off the mask. Tired of it. It's over. Very true. I mean, it's just a tired trope with the mask. Like, it is. I've, it was the same thing you hate when they do the the, uh, the um, ten count spot. Tower of Doom. Tower of Doom. It's just overused. Once it becomes overused, let's crowd and catch this guy. Like, yes. stop doing all that, man. It's not needed. It's really not. I, I would prefer you get more creative with it. Uh, Rafael De La Ghetto says, Ricky's still skydiving at his age. One more match, he'll be fine. I don't, ooh, I don't know, man. Because I don't know if you guys remember what happened to Ricky Steamboat, but someone went for a 450. They landed on Ricky's head, and then he had, like, issues after. And they were fearful of it. And I, I haven't seen Ricky Steamboat wrestle another match since. So I don't know if I can see that happening. Pentagon's gear, phenomenal. Yeah, the Joker is always good. Uh, Chad says he thinks hell's going to break loose that night. 
Claudio and Max, or Mox, excuse me, were menaces last Friday on Rampage. Yeah, that parking lot brawl was good. Rampage's numbers were up crazy, too. Like, they were like, whoa. But that, you had a good match on there. Yeah. Uh, if you stack if you stack your, your cards the right way, mm-hmm. no pun intended, but, you know, right, things uh, will fall into place. Let me see here. So, yeah, we get that. Alex Marvez is backstage. Oh, brother. Uh, Kenny, 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 can I get a word? So he says, Kenny, uh, what's going on for you with All In? He said, Kenny says he's got to sit down with JR next week. They're going to discuss everything. Uh, Don Callis, Takeshka, All In, blah, 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 his future, whatever that means. He just signed a new contract. But Kenny Omega's got plans. Let's see what they're going to end up doing here. Then we came out with Swerve, the Mogul Embassy. This was added last minute, so I don't have a graphic for this. So we will just float into uh, this. So <laughs> Swerve uh, comes out, and they are making the chance to tell Darby to get out here. Darby says, I always respect you, AR Fox, no matter what happens at the end of the day. But what you did wasn't cool. And it sounds like you want to fight, so let's have a fight. And he said, just remember, I know you got all your friends in the ring. I've got friends too. The lights go out. It's, it's, it's Sting. It's Dan. Sting comes out with the baseball bat, lays waste to the Mogul Embassy, uh, even the muscly one. They all go down. Yeah. And uh, Swerve is caught in the ring. Baseball bat pointed up. By the way, Prince Nana, funny dude. Watch him dance when Swerve's music hit. Freaking hilarious. <laughs> uh, Sting comes out, he puts the bat to him, he points to All In, and it looks like they've made themselves a match. Cool. We've got it. Uh, it was announced probably not too long after. It's going to be Swerve and AR Fox versus Sting and Darby. That's going to be a crazy match for oh, yeah. Wembley. Oh, yeah. And I actually love that AR Fox is getting to wrestle in front of a huge crowd like that big moment. Yes. And for a second, can we talk about who fits and who doesn't? I was just getting ready to talk about that. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, let, let's take Brian Cage out. He's he does not belong. It it, it just doesn't feel right with him. He's got to either change his look, no, and he get with everybody. Go, I, I I don't think. Well, you're saying out that group? Yes, he doesn't fit. He yeah, doesn't I don't know. I don't know where Cage fits though. Right now, he worked in Team Taz. I thought in the beginning, but now I'm like, I don't know what you do with Cage. I I, I think because I don't like him in Big Bill because I think Big Bill has tremendous potential, and if Big Bill's going to be regulated to anything. It's Bullet Club, then. Yes. Bang, bang, gang. All right. Well, okay. So, so let me let me recant that statement. If you keep Brian Cage in there, he has to change his whole persona because the persona that he has right now is a, is a little too upbeat for. Not Mo even. Wembley. It's just weird. He's just seen doesn't fit really, and and it's not even just that. I'm even going to put uh, the Gates of Agony in here, and I'm not saying both of them, but uh, uh, is it is it. Tonga Leona? I can't remember. I can't, I, if I'm mixing up the names, I apologize. I feel like he can alter his look. I'm not saying he doesn't fit. I want him to alter his look. And if you want to have him keep something that, that shows he's part of that dynasty, that's not a problem with me. No. But I want him to be looking the same as Khan. Yeah, I so want, he has I, to look the part. I want, I, but they're a tag team, too. I want them to look the same because I think that they can actually be a really – uh badass team together and i really think that they would fit with swerve yes ar fox fits with swerve like it fits a lot better now yes. and then prince nana adding in like he's he's fit the part to make sure he's yes. with swerve like okay i got it we're wearing these masks this is what we're rocking let's do this yes um it they can all fit in but it all has to be uniform if it doesn't look uniform it looks so crazy I, I'm not going to care for it. I don't want to see it because you're taking a lot away when you have characters or I hate to say characters. If you have if you have personas that are in this group that don't match the, the persona that's being portrayed. Hey, let him be a singles then. Nothing wrong with Brian Cage as a singles wrestler. No, you can do it. Not at all. Let him be a singles. But everybody has to look uniform. McKinney also said that Yuda stabbed Chuck Taylor in the head a hundred times with that screwdriver. He needs to be stopped. Best not see Chuck until full gear. 
You'll see him before then, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Lucha Bros BCC good hard hitting match with numerous counter strikes, chops. This is a video game match, right? Like Penta's mask, Mox rolls rolls the tights. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Prince Nana dancing, not feeling it. Quill cool said, nah, nah, Prince Nana got it, bro. Prince Nana is hilarious. Swerve went up so many points in my book after last week's segment. I was already a big Swerve fan. And damn, I think the mogul. Mogul Embassy is going to be the new big faction at AEW. I think Swerve's going to be someone who could be in the main event picture. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. I think the Mogul Embassy can be in a, in a main event picture, but they have to change what they – they all have to be uniform. You can't be all – Everyone has to dress like Swerve. You got to come out with yeah. the hoodies, the jeans. The it, shiesty. Yeah. And like I said, if you want to put him in – Something if like I said, if he wants to still represent his his heritage, his Samoan heritage, if that's an issue, give him a headband. Find something yeah. that he would be willing to do and then incorporate that with them. He right. could even get uh like I said, the headband, keep his hair back, and then at the same time rock the thing that I don't know what it's called that they wear over their heads. I'm not young, I'm not cool, I don't know what that thing is. All right. Put him in a Dewey. I don't know what else you want me to say. Give him the do rag. I don't know. I, I, you just you could pull it off. You could pull it off for all of them, but they all have to be uniform. <laughs> BJ said, "Bullet Bill." If you play Mario, you know. <laughs> Listen, and and Bill would fit perfectly in in Bullet Club. Quills. If bro, speaking of Brian Cage, why is he still wearing face paint? This is what we're talking about. Yes, it's. I don't. I don't get it, dude. Face paint has to go. Brian Cage, can we please get rid of him or keep them on ROH? I'm not feeling his look or style. See? Khan, I think he'd be a future star. Put some respect on Prince Nana. So entertaining. Darby and Nick Wayne versus AR Fox and Swerve next week. Yes. Yes, there's a chance there. And I feel like Nick Wayne might be in Sting in Darby's corner. I could see that too. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be messy, but what was the woman who dissed Sky a couple days ago talking about? Uh, I don't know who you're referring to, Eric. I'm not too sure. Uh, Swerve, AR Fox, Bishop Khan, Prince Nana, the other two keep them on ROH. I still think that the Gates of Agony fit in this group. They do. All I'm saying is he needs a slight alteration. He's easy to fix. Brian Cage is going to be a tough one to fix. Yes. It just don't work with him. You, What you could do is you can get like um... – uh, like, he got shaved the mohawk number one. Yeah, that's got to go. The mohawk, the mohawk either has to go, or it has it has to be it has to be wet. It's got to be wet, so so it like it hangs down. It nah, dude, that doesn't work for him. He's too big for that, bro. He needs to either shave that off or come back with the full head of hair like he used to have. I, I'm just not feeling the mohawk, man. It just doesn't it doesn't fit that group. That's all I'm saying. You guys. Can uh, yell at me. Oh, Lufisto, hold on. May I have this one, Derek? Yes. I'm going to say this one time. Same thing I said on Clash of the Podcast. We don't know these people. I don't know nothing about it. And I'm going to tell you this. Two people could work at the same company, be there at the same time, and have two different experiences. So I don't want to diminish anyone's experiences. But at the same token, if people who work there all the time are saying that they're happy and content, you going to have to own that and eat that. Because people are going to remember... All those tweets and everything else you sent out. So hope it's true. Where's the truth lie? I think somewhere in the middle of all of this. Yeah. Done. I don't want to comment on it anymore. I hope Lufisto is feeling better. I saw that she had deleted her social media. I don't know if it's back or whatnot, but I'm just going to put it there. Uh, Let it be a lazy hawk. It's semi-spike, but at a lean. <laughs> I don't know, BJ. I'd have to see. I'd have to see how it would look. I, I, I'm just not feeling the Mohawk, man. I think cut it off or or grow it back out the other way you had it. Yeah. Cage could be by himself for all I care. Like he can be. Let him be in that international title mix. He can be in there and do that. If he wants a tag partner, cool. Let him do that as well. Shoot, he could be a Ring of Honor and be a top star over there. there there's options for him. It's just what do you want to do? The, so like my thing with with the mobile embassy, this could be a, a top 10 faction if they do it the correct way. That's the key. That's the key. So that all-in challenge is made. Rampage. We got Darby Allen versus Brian Cage. Sky Blue versus Soraya. Winner gets in. We're pretty much taking Soraya, right? Yes. Sounds right. 
And then Orange Cassidy versus Johnny TV. Lord help us. Orange yeah. Cassidy's definitely getting that dub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. And then, oh, we have Collision this week. The Acclaim are going to return to action. We also have Mercedes Martinez and Diamante. Let's go. Good to see Diamante getting some TV time. Yes. Uh, Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander are going to be on this show. Willow Nightingale. The good Willow. Not Willow. <laughs> Willow. Yes. Uh, <laughs> So they got collision looks pretty good this week. I'm not gonna front next week on Dynamite. Kenny Omega sits down with JR. We've got the bunny versus Britt Baker in a qualifier. We were just talking about the bunny in their pay per view matches. Yep. I'm pretty sure Britt Baker's gonna be at all in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. MJF and Adam Cole will be back again next week for some segment. Darby Allen and Nick Wayne versus the Gates of Agony. Can't wait. That's gonna be dope. That should be good. And then we have all in. We have some of the matches set up. They're made up. Uh, some of them could be better, but let's go through those real quick. We have MJF versus Adam Cole, Bucks versus FTR, Sting and Darby versus Swerve and AR Fox, CM Punk and Samoa Joe. The challenge was put out there. It's sitting there. They could do something with it. I think they should. They should, and I'm sure Punk will accept this week, dude. I'm hoping he accepts. I feel like Joe's gonna cost them that match, or something's gonna happen. Oh yeah, but I I, I hope it goes down because that's gonna be that that's gonna be a a match where we're all sitting on the edge of our seats. Yeah, it's gonna be a good match. Like I said, that's a that's a match that they went from wrestling in front of maybe a thousand, a couple thousand people to. You're in front of 80,000 people now. Like, that's right. a long way for an independent match. That was the first match that Dave Meltzer gave five stars to in the U.S. Right. Not that that matters, but you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy to think, like, that match changed people's minds maybe about independent wrestling or Ring of Honor, and now fast forward. That's one of the matches that got me in a Ring of Honor. They were two of my favorites, like, of all time from ROH. So I love it. It's good. I wish we had Danielson on this card. I wish we could get like Danielson and Nigel, but I don't think Danielson's going to be back. And that sucks. I was so like bummed when we found out he wouldn't be there. Yeah. Main event time. Main event Sheeta is back again. Hikaru Sheeta is defending the women's championship against Anna J. Uh, Sheeta just remained steady and in control early on. 2.0 interfere, stopping Sheeta's chair attack where she jumps off and dives onto somebody. Um, I don't know what else happened here. Like Anna J locked in the Queen Slayer. Sheeta falls back on her. Falcon Arrow, but only gets a two count. Sheeta hits the katana. And Sheeta advances, but 2.0 like tried to interfere. Did anybody else catch what happened? Was he supposed to pull her out? Was he supposed to grab her? Did something happen and nobody knows what happened? I want from what from my take, it looks like he was trying to grab her hand and pull her out or at least pull her up to the to the ring or i mean to the ropes but i think it was just like i don't know it, i don't know it, it looked weird because he was trying to reach forward trying to grab her and it was almost like he couldn't and i'm like well wait a minute why because nobody was pulling you or nobody was stopping you so what happened uh, yeah i don't know what what that was tonight for it um the only thing when it comes – okay, this is from BJ. The only thing when it comes to the Lufisto situation is that I hope she has friends around her because it seems like her mental health hit hard. As for the back and forth, I agree with Conrad. Facts. Uh, I love Willow Nightingale. Who doesn't? Sheeta wins. Tokyo says – Tokyo also was mentioned in Peach Jelly before. Uh, that's borderline. It's borderline bougie. Dep yeah. Depends on what kind. You talking like some homemade in the little, you know, the little frilly top with the uh, the right. silver mason jar. Uh, I can't. I can't mess with that dog. That sounds rich. Sounds right. sounds like some fresh print stuff. Too, too rich for my blood. <laughs> right. Uh, Matt Lopez says that was a wonky finish. Yeah, I it I was. couldn't tell you what happened. And so Tony Storm gets a buy as the former champ. Sheeta is in now because she is the champ. That's fine. It's like the champ had to make a title defense yeah. first. I get it. Tony Storm had more title defense than she's in. That's fine. You could do all that if you want to. I've got no issue with that. Um, yeah, brother. I don't. I don't know what else that that could be uh, complained about when it comes to this. It 
it all worked. It all, it all seems like it's fallen into place for me. I, I just want people to to trust the the system. Yeah, and you never know what you're gonna get out of this right now. So, like I said, I at first I thought the card had to be Punk in them. Guess what? The match ain't happening. Why? Nobody knows. Maybe maybe people are saying no. I don't really care. But all in for what they've had to deal with and what they're putting together seems like a good show. And like I said, I've asked you all for this. I want to know final score for Dynamite tonight. And if you're not feeling the build, what matches would you put on the card? I just want to know. I'm curious. Uh, just sent you two examples of the Lazy Hawk. Hold on here. Oh, let's see this one. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, that, that would work, though. Maybe. Maybe. This is... This this bottom one's Heath Slater for sure. Oh yeah, that's like a three man band. Boo, doo, 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 it, 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 it can definitely doo, doo, work, but you have to like you got to give them the um the sleeveless workout shirt, like Under Armour workout shirt or whatever. Give them give them the fatigue fatigue cargo pants. Get them the uh, the black boots. Maybe like one of those uh perfect example. Dress them up like Guile, Gully. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic Boom. Boom. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Street Fighter for having like $15 DLC people. What the <laughs> hell? Have y'all lost your mind? I've, I've been saying this since Street Fighter 4. Have y'all lost your mind? That's why I don't buy these games no more. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Bro, $15? Bugging, bro. That's that's a, that's an expensive price tag for some DLC. Bro, Fifteen dollars, you know the the turtles better be fucking unbeatable. Sir Quill says Hikaru Shida and a J. Not really too much to say about this match. Parker and Menard tried to interfere. Anna hit the bootleg Karafu to clutch on Shida, and uh, Shida escaped, eventually getting the dub. Yeah, yeah, had to. Dangerous E. Paul, Paul E. <laughs> no, let me stop. E was good, bro. What is good? Uh, do you think that Swerve and AR Fox will get involved in the tag match next week on Dynamite? Hell yeah. Oh, absolutely. I actually think that Swerve and AR Fox should make sure the Gates of Agony win because I feel like they've lost too much on the main show. Yes. If you don't watch Ring of Honor, you never see them really get dubs. So, yeah, I would check them out. Um, What's good, man? So, yeah, you don't like the all-in card? I want to see your card. Put it up, at least a few matches. Derek, I'm coming to you right now. Tonight's show, what'd you think? What are you going with tonight? What are you rating it? Hmm. I'm going to go with C+. Plus. <laughs> C+. Plus. Ooh, you just went with a gray tonight. Yeah. Ah, I feel like you're being kind to this show. I am. I, I'm going to go straight up C. C? Yeah, if we're, if I, I'm following your lead here. Also, if Starks, Willow, and House of Black aren't at all in, I'm going to be pissed, BJ says. Got to show balance to both shows. E says, don't make me get that brick cell phone. Ring, 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 ring. I love it, E. I love it, bro. Hikaru Shida better not be booked to be a transitional champion. Champion, She's too good for that, and she deserves much better than that. I have a feeling that may happen, so that's why I said I love Shida. I, I have a feeling Shida could come up on the short end, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a four-way, though. We all know anything could happen in those. What's the prize for the in this tournament since the champ had to win to get in? I missed it. No. So she hasn't had any title defenses. That's why Storm got in, and they're saying she didn't need a defense to get in, so now she's in. That was it. It's for the women's title still. <laughs> so that's so. this is Tony Storm's, like, rematch clause i guess you could argue but right. she had title defenses in and then she it's like she randomly lost the belt and they were like well you are already going to be in so you're in right. and then we'll we'll have her to defend the title then she can be in uh dynamite seven out of ten quills is saying ace is saying seven out of ten oh i feel like we're all in the same ballpark kind of i said see yeah. I, I might be a little bit lower i might be like a six point nine i don't know i don't know uh, tonight we hit Domino's for a regular pep and cheese. BJ said EPW is always the Pizza Hut experience. The big New Yorker. Uh, I just finished coloring on the back of my uh, table mat paper. The pizza is on its way and the music is bumping. Love it. Um, Matt says seven out of 10 for AEW, 10 out of 10 for EPW. 
So wait, where's everybody who don't like the the AEW card? See, I I, I I'm asking for what people thought. I see Ghost Town. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I I definitely think it's a good card. And again, is it by far the best? No, but I I definitely think it's it's a C. It was okay. Yeah. Like we've been getting a lot of those lately. Just C cards. Yeah. But no, nobody's ever gonna stay on the high, you know the the up and up forever, man. Like it's it's gonna happen. And, and if they go to more pay per views, you ain't getting all them great dynamites as much. You're gonna get a couple, but you're not gonna get them as frequently as you were. Yeah. Uh, e said seven out of ten. The card is good, and it's only half done so far. Matt says six point two out of ten. Uh, no real matches to discuss, but EPW is always a perfect ten. Love the grapes. Love the grapes. Concord, I hope. <laughs> so yeah. Uh prize and the Fujis. Ooh la la la. <laughs> Love the Fujis. But um, yeah. I got nothing, man. So I don't think we're gonna get any of these cards. All in though could be better on paper, even without the punk and at least. So how could it be better? Come on, feed me, BJ. Feed me. That's what I'm talking about. I gave y'all the whole show to think about it a little bit. Right. In your back of your mind, I would hope. Also, where the F is Hangman? Good question. That is a good question. That's a great question. Maybe we get some type of tag match. Maybe it's like Jericho and Takeshka versus Hangman and Kenny. I don't, I don't know. That, 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 that would be nice. Hangman, where are you, bro, bro? Hangman has, has been missing. Can't go wrong with the Welch's Concord Grape Jelly. Time to get all up in you like some smuckers jelly. That was what the guy who uh, I was talking about when I used to play basketball would say. I was like, what, bro? Get off me. Always playing defense on me, too. About to get up in that ass like some smuckers jelly. And I was just like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Couldn't even hit the turnarounds or nothing after that. I was like, come on, bro. What are you talking about here? What are we talking about? We playing basketball? You you making a sandwich? What is this? (laughs) Both. <laughs> well, just grape juice is good as well. I ain't had that in a minute. I can't even imagine looking at the sugar count. Oh man, my 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 feet hurt just thinking about it. I can't can't be messing with that. But one more time, it ain't apple jelly. Damn it, Peter Pan peanut butter. Wait, Peter Pan jelly and Peter peanut butter in the same jar? Oh, not that goober. Is Fight Forever dead? No, no, no. I think a lot of people are just talking that. No. People want people to rush. Yo, I could do a rant on this right now. I'm going to try and keep it short, guys, because actually we're going to get out of here a little early for once. But, bam, the game's not dead. That's that's So that's the other question I was going to ask you. Are we waiting until there's an update? Do you want to wait till there's an update to where we get a potential to kick out? Or is this just going to be we brawl and then whoever hits that first finisher or signature is game over? I, it don't matter to me, bro. I no, mean, I'm 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 letting you pick. I mean, I I, think, I asked you a question. I, are they doing a, a kick out update? I don't know. Well, if they're not, I mean, I don't really care. We, we rock with it the way it is now. Oh, Tokyo the Menace came with with uh, some snacks that my mom be having at her house. The Welch's fruit snacks. That's a cavity, though. Know? <laughs> like yeah. I can't mess with those either. Yo, uh, fruit punch. Nah, fruit I, punch, bro. that's a cavity, bro. It is, but. <laughs> All right, so BJ came with Sky Statlander Willow versus Sky Blue, Punk versus Joe, Starks versus uh, OC, Bullet Club Gold versus House of Black, Young Bucks, FTR. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Bullet Club Gold might be weird, though, because that's like two heel teams, but I can get down with that. If you tell the story, though, right? Yeah. That's what it's for. Welch, Welch's great pop is also the truth. Have never had that. Me either. Man. We got too much Fago up here. That's what it is. We got that Fago pop. Yeah. And sorry, we call it pop, not soda. Yeah. Uh, agreed about the Welch's grape juice. THQ Nordic have their showcase Friday. Maybe we get something. I don't think we're getting anything from that. I think we're just going to have to wait our turn. I know they said something about they were waiting for an update for something from Unreal. It's called like SDK. It was like super game developer talk. So they're waiting for something with that. Dude was playing mind games with you. Went prints on you. Why don't you go play in the purified waters of Lake Minnetonka? No, we beat them, but that was that was the problem. It's like, bro, why are you saying this to me? <laughs> and back then, remember, people used to never know we were kids. Though I was like, bro, I'm I'm a child. Right. 
<laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm just gonna go over here and get a drink. I'm I'm done. <laughs> I remember, uh, do you remember when we were in high school? Did you play football that one day with us? And they were like, are you guys on steroid or <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys are in high school? We were like, yeah. <laughs> we were slamming them and all that stuff. Grown grown men. I was like, yeah. That was when I played tackle football. Don't anymore because of my shoulder and stuff. Uh, first of all, through the ring loses. <laughs> Terrible. Kenny versus Osprey 3. Hangman versus Luchasaurus. Changed the, <laughs> the title picture. Lord. Pop, just say soda. So you're adding an extra letter, E. What you doing? Nah, bro. Whoop, Pop. whoop, laughing. Fago brings out the juggalos. <laughs> <laughs> Kyron, I'm with you with the Fago pop, bro. I don't mess with no pop, truthfully. I drink water. Yeah, and you guys can see there's always water in here. Yeah, he, he stays, he stays with the water. I'm I'm more I'm more so like the, the fruit punch drinks and all like that. Yeah. Derek trying to get all sugary. <laughs> Semi pro flag football, as <laughs> that's how we were acting out there. Stupid, yeah, bro. The, uh, Sa- people used to think we were older, <laughs> yeah. Kids, save your body, it ain't worth it playing all these sports, man. You end up hurt and old, and now, now we're feeling it. So, oh, man. Look, but it was fun when we did it. Oh, bro. absolutely, bro. We remember how we'd be outside at like 12 o'clock, and going to 12 o'clock again. <laughs> Go to bed. All right, bro. I'm gonna see you in the morning. All right, got you. He'll be. I'd be at his house early in the morning, like eight, nine o'clock. Yes, ready to go. Go. Let's go shoot. Yeah. <laughs> he likes that high quality H two O. Right. I do. I do. So me and Derek will work on this match. I don't know. This is on Derek at this point, y'all. If it don't happen, you can blame Derek. I'm ready I whenever it's ready. ready. I'm ready whenever he. I'm ready, ready bro. I All told right. you, softball season's over now. All right, bro. So you need to just let me know when. Clash of the podcast ends. I mean, we could do this during a Raw. I, I mean, well, we could definitely do it during Raw. Yeah, see, of course, <laughs> of course. Disrespectful to disrespectful to WWE. But well, they've disrespected us for the last couple of years. No lie. So, <laughs> guys, listen here. Uh, no slander towards WWE. Clash of the podcast will be live this Monday, six oh five Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you are here for myself. For the brother they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling, AEW Dynamite Review. We will be back next week with another review of the show as we move towards All In. We're out. One. One.